Okay, so you're asked to find the volume that's generated when this, this region right here, the, under the graph of y equals one over x, but also this region right here, which is under the line y equals, well, whatever this line is, well, if this is uh, x equals six, then the y value is one over six. So the area for this, when this region is also included under the line y equals one six. Okay, here's the answer when we use the disk method, pi times the definite integral from five to six, where typical disk goes from zero to one over x, which is the radius, the distance from the axis of revolution to uh, the outermost portion of the disk uh, squared. And that gives us this point 1047. Now to use the shell method, we're gonna have two separate regions uh, because for the region above the green dashed line, here's a typical shell and we're going from this y value, which is one over six to one over five. From one sixth to one fifth of, and what did I get this one minus five y? <clears throat> well, the length of that, an algebraic expression for the length of that shell is the x coordinate at the right minus the x coordinate at the left. So that's one over y minus five. But then we have to multiply that by y, the distance from the axis of revolution to the center of the shell. Call that the average radius. So when I put a y here, that gives me one minus five y. So this integral right here gives you the volume when this region is revolved about the x-axis. <clears throat> For the region below this green dashed line, it's the y-coordinate at the right. I'm sorry, the x-coordinate at the right, which is six, minus the x-coordinate at the left, which is five. So the average or the length of the shell is one always. So, but then we have to multiply that by y, the distance from the axis of revolution to a typical shell, which I could have had a line all the way up to here too. That would be y value. So that's the integral. Two pi times the integral from zero to one over six, one sixth y dy. And you can see we get the same answer. Now, if I share my screen, uh, and go to Desmos. <clears throat> you can take a look at some of this other stuff. Uh, it turns out that that first integral before you multiply by two pi is one three sixtieth. F is this the antiderivative of that one minus five y. G of y is the antiderivative of just y dy. And so g of 1 6 minus g of 0 is 1 72nd. When you add those together, you get 1 60th. When you multiply by 2 pi, you get that point 1 0 4 7. And that's the same as pi over 30. So there's an exact answer right there, pi over 30. Okay, hope that helped. If you have any questions, uh, post a comment.